Hi, hello. My name is Kareem Al Shatouri, and I would like to introduce to you a new article I came across about men's health. I came across this article by CNET called Men Won't Talk About Mental Health and It's Killing Them by Mark Searles, published on October 11, 2018. This article revolves around how society has forced men to hide their mental illnesses in fear of being looked at as weak or unmasculine. The article speaks about the vast majority of male suicide and depression due to this issue and how men are seen not seeking help for many reasons. Many themes are presented in this article, such as suicide, hence the name of the title. The author wanted to send a strong message to the reader about this global issue and how it can lead to men's early death. Furthermore, the article talks about how more men are committing suicide in areas of Western culture that put shame on men who are in need of help. Moreover, another theme that is represented by the article is seeking help. In the article, the author provides the reader with many ways of seeking aid with mental health. However, because most men are reluctant to go seek help in person, the author provides apps and online methods for men in need. A quote by someone named Blasky says, In many ways it's easier to open up on screen than with someone looking you in the eye. Gender roles have also been touched upon in the article about how men are always in need to be strong. Gender roles make it extremely difficult for men to acknowledge mental health issues. A broader cultural shift is definitely required. In the article, many campaigns made to help this cause were mentioned. The first one was a 2013 campaign by Beyond Blue called Man Therapy, a campaign fronted by a fictional doctor called Dr. Ironwood, a man in a mustache wearing character described as straight, talking, man's man. This campaign was meant to raise awareness and help diminish masculine or male stereotypes. However, it played to male stereotypes that were potentially harm harmful. Moreover, according to Brett Skulls, a research fellow at the Australian National University, he says, and I quote, It reinforced the idea that there is the ideal man. A lot of the men I spoke to in my research said it made them feel less likely to seek help. The second campaign mentioned in the article was called Soften the F Up, made in 2011. An online awareness campaign in Australia, STFU, was designed to tear at the root of damaging toxic masculinity, the kind that categorizes men as weak for seeking help. Their main message they wanted to deliver was, and I quote, we do not need to refine masculinity, we need to undefine it, end quote. However, what both these campaigns did not achieve is reaching only one type of man, more specifically, still, the standard man. Skulls mentioned how not all men are the same and how some might want to be treated using different services such as talk, physical health, or meditation classes. In the article, the author is showing that even with many campaigns available to help the cause, Western culture and its male image could not be broken and thus men continue to suffer and push down the mental issues. Furthermore, some literary devices that were shown in the article include the Marxist theory. In the article, the author mentions how the proletariat are at most risk of mental health and suicide. He explains that the working class men, men approaching middle age, and men rural areas all are more likely to feel isolated to believe that discussing mental health is a sign of weakness and statistically more likely to self-medicate with alcohol or drugs. Another use of literary device seen in the article includes psychoanalytic criticism. According to Freud's theory of the unconscious mind is responsible for urges, feelings, fears, and shameful experiences. This can be seen in the article as the authors talk about a man named Alex who was sexually abused and never sought any help for his mental issues. In the article, Alex says, and I quote, I am the rock, he says, I am the stable one, weakness is bad, men are strong, end quote. This corresponds to the unconscious mind as it is an example of fears, shameful experiences, and hidden urges. Since society looks down upon men who are weak, Alex is afraid of coming out to help himself and is embarrassed and ashamed. This quote is also an example of an alliteration 
as the words are repeated in the line, I am the rock, I am the stable, putting emphasis on how he cannot be seen as weak because he is the one that is looked for, for stability and toughness. All in all, after reading this article, I tend to mostly agree with many of the points the author mentions. However, I would have liked him to mention how groups like feminists also make it difficult for men to be heard. Feminism revolves around the idea of male privilege and how men have all the doors open unlike women. However, keeping this in mind, it can stray away men from trying to seek help from any friends or family in the fear that they will be ignored or bypassed. Thank you very much for listening. My name is Kareem Shatori. Signing out.